as you can see I've uh, persevered with the, uh, <laughs> the ukulele I, uh, from the other bit the other day uh, now I've got it all strung up and all together um, I've moved all the brackets so they're now evenly spaced all the way around the head which is tensioned it up quite nicely even though there's only six of them I would have liked some more brackets on it but uh, a bit more expensive than I want to do at the moment so um, the bridge is made out of a piece of scrap mahogany just cut and grooved out um, well I didn't say on a bit the other day what I was going to use for a towel piece and, um, thanks to uh, <laughs> Mr R Peak on YouTube um, bit of an inventor of banjos and god knows what else he just used a common uh, common kitchen fork now all I've done there is, is just cut the fork down and bent the tines over drilled through and attached it with a, an 8mm cap bolt I had to play around with bending it back about because it was actually pressing against the uh, the tension rim uh, which I've cured now but yeah good idea cheap cheap and nasty you know four forks from a pound shop for a pound so uh, uh, went through three of them before I got it right. Um, the fretboard I haven't glued on yet, I've just attached it with a couple of screws just for now because I might want to take it off and play around with it and clean it up a bit but but the frets went in quite easily, I mean thanks to uh, Stuart McDonald's fret calculator it, it does actually, they are actually in the right place so um, which I was surprised with but um, and it plays very nicely in tune, the tunes that these strings are actually still stretching at the moment, but um, so even even at the 12th fret, it's pretty much there. So um, the scale on this is about 17 inches, 16, 16 and three quarter inches. <coughs> um, the top nut came off uh, another old ukulele that I used to have that I cut down and made a the dulcimer out of. Um, so I've reused that, I save wasting it. As I said, the tuners are just standard acoustic guitar tuners. Um, very cheap, sort of nasty, but they work. Um, but they're not nasty, but they, they do the job. Because uh, I have quite a thick neck on it, I've uh, they come out about right. Um, playability, I think, really, for what it is, it's homemade. Um, not too bad. Tuning at the moment, uh, I can't get my head round standard ukulele tuning, I've, you know, I've got chord charts here and uh, GCEA is a standard tuning for a, for a tenor or a soprano ukulele so so that basically is over the shoulder so I've tuned it to G C E G which I think they call the slack key C tuning um, just an open C really so you can use pretty much the, the, the <coughs> standard banjo chord shapes for G so whether it's right or not, I don't know, but it sounds right to me. But it's just got to learn how to play it. But it's it's not too bad. It's I mean, the total cost really was about more than I wanted to spend, but then I had to buy fret wire and bits and pieces for it. So, hopefully, the next time I make one of these, um, the cost will be a little bit cheaper. I mean, the total cost so far, getting it all strung up and putting it all together, was about £58, nearly £60. So, really, not too bad considering that you're going to pay, well, even second hand, you're going to pay £80, £90 for an instrument, maybe more. You know, and if you buy new, um, you know, it's going to be made in China. You're going to be paying about eight hundred and hundred and eighty pound, maybe. Uh, so, you know, if you're contemplating doing this, have a go. You know, the hardest bit is making a neck, obviously, and you know, sorting it all out. But um, it's just time, a bit of effort. You know, scraping about with files and jigsaws, and I haven't got all the right tools to do the job. But you use what you got about. So, um, yeah, very pleased with it. Homemade ukulele, under sixty pound. Can't beat it, really, can you? <laughs> but uh, just got to learn to play the damn thing now. 
anyway thanks for watching and uh, watch this space and uh, I'll see what I can come up with next time